Okay, so starting from the top, I'm in Google, I'm looking for Pixlr and I've just typed it in and here's Pixlr editor. So most of you should be fairly familiar with this. First thing that I'm gonna do is click F12. That brings up the, uh, the hack so we can disable that ad on the other side. So I'm gonna close that out and now I've got full screen. So I'm gonna open image from computer, go over to my files. Can't do the sixth grade boys because the background's different, but I'll do the demo with the seventh grade boys in this photo. So I open up layer one, and I open up what will be the background. Okay, so first thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the menu over here, so edit, select all, which is control A. Notice the borders around, shows me what is selected. Now I'm gonna cut, which is control X. Then I'm gonna close it, because if I paste, I've seen that students make this mistake a few times, they'll paste it to where they just cut it from. So if you paste it back to the white sheet, it's not gonna combine those layers. So what we wanna do is now I've closed that, I'm, at, I'm back at the background layer, and I'm going to edit paste. And notice over here on the layers panel, now there's two layers. Now there's a couple different things that we could do. I'm gonna move these over just so we get that full screen. Uh, if layer, currently layer one is selected, if I wanna do anything like combining the two images, I wanna erase down. So if I erase the background, I'm gonna do that as an explanation. So I've got my eraser here, I'm going to erase a little bit here. Notice nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Because that's the background. So I've turned off layer one and I can see what I was doing. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to back up. To back up, I can do control Z or I could do edit undo. So I'm going to undo. Now we're back to fresh start. So I'm going to click layer one and I'm going to go over here and click the eraser. I'm going to change the size of the eraser to 200. Notice the hardness. When I click around here, notice that the diameter and the hardness is changing. So I'm gonna, I want a soft edge, so I'm gonna make a kind of an airbrush. So it's a 50-50 hardness. So now as I come around, I can start to, to fill in here. So I'm just gonna come around, a little, do a little airbrush. So you can start to do some tricky things, like maybe I can try to add the, the one head to another body. So notice the, the coloring is a little different, um, but we're gonna fix that as part of our next. So there's a couple different things you can erase down and that'll slowly uh, reveal the image. If these were all the same people, so we could have two on one side, two on the other. Um, these images are pretty much the same. So to make it a little easy, what I'm gonna do is come over here and just kick, get that selection. I'm gonna select all this stuff and I'm gonna control X real quick, just to cut it all out. So control X. So now it's 50, 50, half and half. So up here I can turn that layer on and off. So now that's looking pretty good. It's a hard edge in the middle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off layer zero real quick so I can see just the edge I'm working with. And I uh, come, notice I have layer one selected. It's very important because if I erase and I don't have layer one selected, it'll be on the wrong side. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull down. Okay, and that is the general process to do the twins. Next video, we're gonna talk about brightness and contrast and kind of getting your colors right. Cause some of you have some really light colors, some of you have some really dark colors. Okay, talk to you in the next video.